Chris, how did you um, come to be at Harbrook Hill today? Um, Ford Focus got me here. Um, no, uh, like I said, long story short, um, my manager is someone called Alan Niven, um, who many years ago, many many moons ago, managed Guns N' Roses, um, and I think in his kind of Hollywood days, must have uh, got friendly with Little Caesar at some point, um, and he's very friendly with them, and just kind of you know gave Ron a call the other day and. It's, uh, Asked if he was up for letting me up on his uh, stage, so uh, very kindly Ron and uh, the rest of Little Caesar just kind of you know were very accommodating and had me up there to play with Roman Cokes. So uh, yeah, absolutely incredible experience, great fun, great great band as well, I mean, an underrated band definitely. Have you ever jammed with them before? or Was this the first time? Yeah, literally first time. I mean, we had a brief run through backstage of uh, the track we did, but yeah, first time, first time live was first time on stage. So. <laughs> so whereabouts are you based? Uh, South Wales, Cardiff. And are you a solo artist over there? Um, well, at the moment, I don't have a band in the UK. I have a band in the US um, with whom I recorded an album last January, just gone. I keep thinking it's last year, but it's this year. Um, recorded an album last January that's coming out this January now um, in, in the UK and the US. And that's with a band called The Big Horns. So it's Chris Buck and The Big Horns that's being released as. And the album's called Postcard from Capricorn. Um, I was in a band up until, in a UK based band, up until last November. We split up, unfortunately, so very kindly my manager, Alan, and his wife, Heather, got me straight across the US, and uh, I spent three weeks in a recording studio with some in absolutely incredible session musicians, and, you know, just kind of, you know, people would uh, see if they were up for it, playing with uh, some long-haired Welshie, and uh, kindly they were, so, yeah, so uh, I've got an album coming out in January. So. so do you have any UK tour dates planned for that? Uh, not as of yet. Um, on the band front and the UK side, I'm still looking for the perfect singer. So if anyone uh, fancies, a, fancies a shot, um, yeah, at the moment, like I said, over in the UK, I'm still looking for the perfect singer. I've got an incredible band together in the US, so who knows what the future holds. Maybe some US dates first, maybe, but um, yeah, we'll see how it all unfolds. So. So wh have you got a band name for the new band? Uh, yeah, the Big Horns we're called. Chris Buck and the Big Horns, and the album's called Postcards from Capricorn. So, and that's due to be released in January. So, oh, brilliant. Um, what is it being released on? Via um, being released in the US on Fontana, which is a part of Universal, and in the UK on a company called Spine Farm. Um, yeah. So, any um, interesting stories um, in producing the album? Um, I mean, it was an incredible experience from start to finish. Um, the second time, only the second time I've been to America, and you thrust into a studio to work with some musicians that you've never actually worked with before. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it was an incredible experience from start to finish, and yeah, just great fun all around. So, can't wait to actually play the material live. <laughs> Any um, names to drop from the studio? Um, from the studio, I mean, like I said, I work with some incredible musicians. There's a fantastic drummer who's based in Arizona called Mike Thompson. Hiya, if you're watching. Um, yeah, absolutely incredible drummer, um, absolutely incredible bass player called Jimmy Mack, who down the years has worked with Sly Stone, Marvin Gaye, you know, some incredible names. Um, and an absolutely, again, incredible singer um, called Tony Montana, um, who again, many moons ago used to be in a band called Great White. Um, who Alan, my manager, also managed back in the day. Um, sorry, going crazy off camera. Um, yeah, um, and about, it would have been in October of this year, um, I had a phone call off Slash um, asking me to go and jam with him at um, NIA in Birmingham. So, yeah, to 10,000 people about two months ago, I got and did a blues jam with Slash. So that was a pretty incredible experience, if we're on the topic of name dropping. <laughs> that is pretty good name dropping. Yeah. How do you... Um you ha just happen to know Slash or um, <laughs> what, what happened there? I think, uh, again, um, my manager's been sort of sending him stuff across, you know, bit by bit to Slash, kind of seeing if, if he liked me. And Slash has said some very nice complimentary things about my playing. And uh, just out of the blue, I had a phone call. I was sat there with my girlfriend watching Indiana Jones at the time. And my phone starts ringing um, with a number I didn't recognise. And, uh, yeah, it turned out to be Slash. Um, just... Uh, asking if I was about on uh, October 9th I was at the council first I was washing my hair but I thought about it and uh, yeah um, yeah I went along to the NIA in Birmingham and uh, got up and did a blues jam with him and his in, in his band so yeah it was uh, absolutely incredible so <laughs> pretty good stuff <laughs> doesn't happen to everyone every no, day no, no, not, not I imagine <laughs> <laughs> so um, where should people be directed if they want to check out your stuff online uh, my website's probably a great start which is www.chrisbuckguitar.com um, or YouTube again just put